Seven days from now, voters will make their voices heard on Election Day. Two men hope to hear the call for West Lafayette Mayor. Good evening, I'm Dan Klein. Thanks for watching. Republican John Dennis is looking for a second term. Democrat John Polis is looking for an upset. I sat down with both men this afternoon as each stated his case. John Dennis says he's done a lot in the last four years, but he's not finished. He's proud to have created a neighborhood resource team to deal with quality of life issues, increased recycling, and reversed a budget deficit. If elected, he says the biggest challenge will be revenue. Our challenges are going to be to look at ways to still to provide high quality services, uh, look at ways to incentivize growth within our community, and look at ways to cut costs and recover costs however we can. He's proud of recent projects including the Lindbergh Road and Cumberland Road projects and getting firefighters into a permanent home. If elected, he would like to tackle the Happy Hollow Hill and South River Road. He says it's his experience which makes him the better candidate. But not just an experience in being the mayor of West Lafayette for four years, experience in working with members of the county government, experience in working with, with representatives from the city of Lafayette. John Polis says it's time for a change. He says he'd be a more hands-on mayor. If elected, he would first create a long-range strategic vision to help protect and enhance the neighborhoods working with the new development, which is inevitable. That's what's got to be done. It can't be either or, and it shouldn't be either or, and it, it can be done uh, um, concomitantly with one another. Polis believes that strategic plan would have given the city more leverage with the recent Wang building proposal. He says West Lafayette needs to compete better with other cities by providing things like Wi-Fi hotspots. Polis says it's his military background which makes him the better candidate. It's my style of leadership is what's going to make, make these things happen. The current administration's had four years and they haven't happened. We don't have that forward thinking. We don't have that thinking outside the box. What can we do to make sure we keep our place uh, within the Big Ten University community?